Fun fact, I used to think Rosa Park was famous for creating parks. This video is mainly about explaining what happened in 2020 and why I had stopped making content in general. For a while, at least. So if you stick around and listen, I'd appreciate that. As always, I hope you enjoy. When I started YouTube, I didn't think about fame, I didn't think about money, or reaching past 10 subscribers. YouTube started as a side hobby. When I started, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with this channel. I did reactions for a while, to me they were fun, and at the time, I didn't expect the love and support that suddenly flew into my direction at such a young age. To me, getting to 10 through 20 viewers was a lot. It means somewhere in the world, someone took their time out of their day to watch me. Maybe that's for 5 seconds, maybe it's for 20, but the time did not matter. What mattered to me was that someone noticed me, and that was enough to make me happy. When starting this channel, all I had was a very old government phone and a laptop that couldn't even run Minecraft. <laughs> I know, shitty, right? I did what I could with the items I had. I got creative and started brainstorming some ideas. Some ideas would work and most would fail. But I didn't care because I was having fun. Every day for the next three years, I was working with my grandfather on some jobs to gain some money for the new laptop so I could start doing YouTube gaming. But then, reality hit me. And it hit hard. Many people know that I don't have a mother or father. My friends jokingly call me the main character. But the price of being a main character of your story means you have to go through a lot of suffering to grow through your character development. I had to juggle taking care of my brothers while being the rope that holds his family together. My grandfather and his girlfriend were fighting. It was an unhealthy situation to grow up in for anybody, really. I had lost the money somehow over time. I didn't know if it was stolen or if I made it or if I misplaced it. But the hard work I had was gone, and to me, that felt like the world was gone. I am also very insecure, I believe that I am just a fat white bastard. I also had a great depression that had gotten to a dangerous point. I don't think I would be here if it wasn't for my grandfather, my friends, and my beloved girlfriend. When 2020 hit, I will admit I became a bit lazy in the first few months. We all did for a while. No one expected the outbreak to get this bad. It slammed into everyone's lives with no warning. I've had a lot of time with myself, too much time with myself. Around the time of November and January, we had our Wi-Fi took. Which sums up why I haven't been posting anything for a while. Now I'm back at YouTube again, I feel the need to express myself because over the past three years, I've grown from 10 subs to 1,921 subscribers. Many people have told me, oh, your channel grows too slow, you're already dead. But to that, I say you're wrong. My channel is not dead. And this 2021, I plan to make the best content I can make. Now having a YouTube channel with this many subs and 252,000 views in total comes with a big price. The people who watch your channel, or any channel for that matter, come with expectations. They come to laugh, and I'm not sure if I can always make someone laugh. Everyone knows I love to help people. That's my main goal, is to make people smile. I know it sounds like the normal YouTuber bull crap, but that's who I am as a person. As I get older, I start to shift towards making people laugh in games, and um, I always believe that something about a person's laughter or smile it was magical. It made me feel better inside, it made me have confidence. Something about making someone laugh that you're meeting for the first time and someone you may never meet again just feels right. I love making the videos. 
I love editing them. I love uploading them. And what made me the pro and what made me most proud is that I wasn't forcing content with fake humor. I wanted to make content that was natural, quality over quantity. I wanted the videos to feel human. The fear that I honestly have is being put on a pedestal. I want to be equal with the, I want to be equal with the viewers because I am not better than anyone. I am not above anyone. I know many talented and amazing people that I see above me who are the same age and the same grade that I am every day. The point of making these videos was to spread positivity and make people laugh and have a good time. I honestly hate it when people ask me, do I get paid? No. I don't want to get paid. I don't get paid because YouTube is something passionate to me. I don't want to see people as money. I want to see them as friends. It's frustrating to realize that what got me here today is slowly fading into the past. Especially if it's not your fault. It is very easy to let this drive you into depression or anger towards other people. And that happened to me for a bit, and I'm sorry. Every day, I just want to talk and connect to people. I don't want any special treatment, I don't want to feel above anybody else. The real pain is I... The real pain I hold on to is having two through four months without content, and people are expecting that I got a video that I'm working on something like that and in reality I don't I don't know what to upload 2021 I want to do better this year so the viewers who stayed at the end please stick around and let's all become friends because that's the goal of this channel thank you for listening Gary out